So over the past three weeks, I went car shopping myself. Oh, yeah? How'd that go? <laughs> I went to seven dealerships, of which one asked me my name. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, one salesman introduced himself. Not one salesman, when they didn't have the product I asked for, and these were at Kia, Hyundai, these are Toyota, I mean, you know, just some of the n nothing fancy. Um, they, nobody tried to switch me. I switched myself. Volkswagen was another one. Okay. Uh, I switched myself because they didn't have what I want in stock. So I said, well, let's go look at the, this one. Sure. Um, there's been no follow-up, uh, no phone calls. Uh, it, it, the salesmen have gotten complacent because they're order takers at the moment. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping that the dealers recognize that this is the trend at the moment and starts training those salesmen from the, again, the car business has always been a business of the basics. You got to do the basics right. It's all blocking and tackling. And the first thing they need to do is go back to the basic on how to sell a car. Yes. 100%. That's a good, that's a very, very good point. Um, you know, this is... Uh, the time that I think we in our industry where we're going to start seeing the cream rise to the top, you know, we're really seeing who the real operators are, you know, versus Absolutely. ones that I think really kind of got by with their brand and the loyalty to the brand itself. You know, I, I think you're seeing people that are like, look, I'm going to use this time. I'm going to use this kind of maybe newfound, you know, opportunity to generate new processes to create better communication, both internally and with my uh, with my customers. John, for yourself, how do you think we bring the customer into that communication ecosystem? I think, um, you know, just to, you know, obviously I have bias in this, but through technology in, in some capacity. Yeah. And the proper leveraging of that technology. I've got a couple of dealer groups that, um, you know, have leveraged technologies like Update Promise, right, for service communication. And what, what they found is that through constant communication on a regular basis, the experience for the customer becomes um, a lot richer. And there's, there's a relationship that's built, right? We've mm -hmm. all built these relationships with people with consultants on Zoom or on WhatsApp or whatever that looks like. This yep. massive communication is just becoming, you know, meeting the customer where they are at that moment, right? And then I think in another capacity, like the, the use of social media is like how like Patrick Brown or Alex Flores, these guys export the culture of the organization through their cell phone, right? It's like good, I can like if, if Tom's like, "Hey, you guys, we're here at the you know we're here at the sales tower," and Tom, we're about a car today, and you're talking to, you're exporting that culture, and people are saying, "Hey, it's not as scary to meet with, you know, with Tom or with Sandy, like at the dealership and having those communications." Like the dealership is no longer confined to the walls of the store. Yes, it's the ecosystem, and I, I keep going back to this. I'm a systems guy, right? So I always well, go back you, to like how you connect the dots, <laughs> how you connect the dots, and how you look at the larger ecosystem of the organization. How do you export that as effectively as possible? Thanks for tuning in to the Matador Yachtcast with your host Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at Matador.ai to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.